Uh, Stephen rollercoaster for a game that one, having taken the lead, we end up having to snatch the point right at the death. How did you see that one? I thought we were very, very good until we scored, and then we came off the game. We we stopped pressing, we stopped playing, and we stopped penetrating, and we let them back in the game. Uh, I didn't think they had anything to offer to that point, and then we let them in the game. Uh, the penalty, I've just seen it a few times. It's incredible how he's given that decision, the referee. It's an awful decision, and um, probably summed up the performance, to be honest. Um, but the second goal, uh, from our point of view, was really poor. And then we start playing again. And, and every time we played, we caused them problems. Um, but like I said, we, we can't come off after we score. We've got to stay hungry and, and keep pushing for the next one, which we didn't do. Uh, Scorers first half, some really nice passages of play from ourselves, especially with the chance for Greener, which he pulled wide. At the same time, we did have some uh, lucky escapes as well with Derry chances. Yeah, I thought we... Uh, we could have been two up in the first 15 minutes. We created some really good opportunities. Um, and like I said, uh, on another night, we're two up. And, and our play was very, very good up until, like I said, we score. Uh, and then our mindset change. We came off a little and, and that's, that's not like us. We're usually the team that when we score, we go again and we go again and we didn't tonight. Uh, the goal comes in there or it's a perfectly made ball with Berkey and Derek gets his first goal of the club. Yeah, I thought he was brilliant tonight, Dara. I really did. I thought um, someone who's been asked to play wing back. We know he's a he's a winner by trade, but he's been learning inside for us. Uh, but he goes wing back tonight, and, and uh, he was the best player on the pitch tonight. I thought he was he was really high level. Some of the stuff he does, so he was fantastic. And Marcus up wing back on the other side, not his natural position either. But how do you think he did? He did really well. We know Marcus can play there. He has experience, um, and and you can see with all that experience how he plays the position. He, he, he plays that position as if he's played there all his, uh, all his career, and that's, that's just experience and understanding the game. Uh, the penalty you've given us your view on it there, you don't think it was a penalty. The second goal, a uh, question of handball for it, but should be uh, deal, deal with it a lot better as well from the corner. Yeah, most definitely. The, the second goal is, is really poor from our point of view. Um, we defend really well inside, and then we get caught out. Uh, our six man gets caught out outside, and, and it's a tap in. Um, so really poor second goal, but the first goal, it's, it's an awful decision from the referee. We do get the point right at the end with Marcus Poon's equaliser. Uh, the fans did come out a bit Monday night, they were a treat to that one uh, and they enjoyed that one. Yeah, thank you to them because Monday night, uh, the conditions, freezing cold, raining, um, on TV, they could have been forgiven to stay at home and watch the game, but they came out on the numbers again and uh, yeah, they got a good game to watch, so thank you to them. That's Sligo away next on Saturday. They have started the season very well. So that's where we're going to try and get our first win of the season, hopefully. Yeah, exactly. That's our aim. Um, review this tomorrow and get ready for Sligo on Saturday. Go and try and win the game.